Have you always lived here in Rome? No, we've only lived in Rome for two and a half years. Okay, wonderful. Would you mind sharing kind of how your family ended up here? Honestly, pace of life. We left Atlanta to come to a small town and slower pace of life. Okay, wonderful. Um, I, I'm not from Rome either. I'm actually from a very, very small town in Alabama. Um, to this day, we do not have a traffic lot. Um, so this is big city life, I'm telling you, um, <laughs> compared to where I'm from. But I really like the pace here. It's a, it's a fast but slow all right. at the same time. It has enough um, to offer, yeah. So <clears throat> currently, I live in um, a, a brick ranch-style home. Um, would you mind telling me kind of what type of home that you live in? It was built in the 1930s. I believe it was brick when it was built, but it currently has vinyl siding, two-story with a uh, non-finished basement. Okay. All right. Um, would, do, you have, do you currently have rooftop solar for your home? No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so tell me, why do you not have rooftop solar? Did you make that decision, or was it kind of made for you? Well, the house that we bought obviously didn't have any... And I would be ve- very interested in it, but I can't. We can't afford it. Okay. I don't think we have the means to make that happen. Okay. So, wh- why do you think being um, this type of homeowner? Uh, oh, excuse me. I was skipped to the wrong one. So, if this would be available to you, though, you did say that you would want solar. Tell me why you would want solar. I just see the means to not. Utilize, I mean, to utilize the natural resources versus using a gas or coal or whatever we need to do to create economic demands and shifts and that. So I would love to see us more utilizing solar, but I think it's just the cost of the initial startup cost to be able to do it are okay. probably a little bit out of our league. I say that. I don't even know what it is. Okay. Okay. I just assume that. All right. All right. Um, so right now I'd like to talk to you uh a bit about rooftop solar adoption just in general. So in general, here's a map of the United States here. And and then you can also have that pin there as well. Where do you think that people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? And if so, could you draw that on the map? Okay. And probably like Montana-ish, wherever that is, Colorado maybe. Okay. Okay, so what do you think, um, what do you think that these communities, these areas, um, what do you think is so different there than here in in Rome, here in Georgia? California is probably wealth and um, innovativeness, I guess if that's the right word. They're a little bit more innovative than we are. Um, I think like Wyoming, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado are a little bit more, like to be dependent on the land versus dependent on a gas or a coal. Okay. Or electricity, perhaps. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I like it. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Georgia. Mm-hmm. So basically the same thing here with Georgia. Um, in what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes here in Georgia? Golly, I have no idea. Um I would imagine maybe somewhere south, like a farm-ish type community that found that it's probably more cost-effective to have the power come from solar versus um, dependent on coal or gas. Okay. So why do you think those people, um, what makes them different than than people? I think probably more in touch with the rhythms of the land and the ability to tap into a natural resource, people that... um, do farming for a lifestyle. Okay. All right. And then what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Did they have um, solar on their roofs? No. No? Okay. Um, why do you think they don't? I would guess same as me. Uh, don't know that much about it. Don't know about the availability. And the cost probably seems too much. Okay. 